One of human energy's central concerns is the impact of rapidly evolving technology on society. There's a name for this novel phenomenon that pervades every aspect of modern life. The techno-social dilemma, the gap between the speed at which our world is changing due to technology and our ability to process it, understand it, regulate it, cope with it, and the incredible disorientation that that means and the crisis of meaning that we don't understand the world that we're operating in or what our future is. The effects of the techno-social dilemma in our everyday lives leaves us feeling confused and lacking direction. That's where human energy's approach comes in. Human energy is trying to help people revision the future. To see the future not in terms of what's right around the corner and the disasters that could potentially befall us, but the human potential as a species, maybe even in the long haul thousands of years from now. That sort of long vision I think is pretty important. We're losing vision because we're so impacted by what's going on right now. Human Energy's programs are aimed at restoring a positive vision of the future for humankind. A central idea is the noosphere. As the biosphere evolved to encompass the planet with an interconnected network of living systems, the noosphere is evolving to encompass the planet with an interconnected network of thinking systems with planetary consciousness. This global consciousness was first named the Noosphere 100 years ago by Pierre Teilhard de Chardin, a Jesuit priest and paleontologist who helped excavate the remains of some of the earliest humans to walk the Earth. And Teilhard's view of this, of course, is actually not something new. It's not a science fiction future. The form of communication we use, language communication, is something that no other species can do. And it has done something which is unique in the world. And that is, it's allowed us to share thoughts, to share dreams, to share experiences, and to penetrate into ideas and problems that are well beyond our perception and our experience. Developing our noospheric ability to penetrate into ideas beyond our experience is the driving force of human energy itself. Sharing that vision through the third story of our origins is one of human energy's central goals. Firmly rooted in science, it provides a sense of meaning and direction for modern life. We're now at a place where we have the power to make major changes in the world, um, in which we have the ability to understand the logic of this process, how it works, uh, and if we put our efforts into doing that, we have a much better chance of avoiding some of the great pitfalls that we're headed towards. What human energy, what the noosphere, what the work of, of Teilhard and, and the incredible minds who are working on this project together have shown me is that we have the ability to change that. Um, and this is the moment to come together and work on that. And I think that sense of urgency is something we all bring to the work um, and that is compelling and we need to tap into that without scaring people. What we're offering is a message of hope, not a message of disaster and threat. The mission of human energy is to increase awareness of the noosphere and the third story in order to stimulate and conduct research towards maximizing their beneficial development. These programs are aimed at unifying humanity to steer a positive direction for the future of the planet and all who call it home.